I want to thank everybody for taking the time today to listen to ways we can help combat teen suicide and depression, an epidemic that's affecting New Jersey and the nation. Teenage suicide in our country has gone up 70% in the last 10 years. Experts talk about the issue of a support system that's lacking, especially in the white suburban communities. My foundation is looking to go into the schools and train the non-teaching personnel uh, what to look for when a teenager or a, a person who's 10 years old or nine years old comes to you and says, you know, I'm depressed. And how do you handle that? What do you do? As a parent, it's important to me that we're reaching into the schools, talking to people who may not normally be the people that are trained, but our kids are comfortable talking to a security guard or a secretary that might be in the office. Those are the people that the kids are friends with and they're comfortable talking to. And we want them to be able to kind of be aware and say, I overheard a conversation about this. This person doesn't look as, as well as they did the day before. You educate these non-licensed but very important people in the school system about the signs, about the symptoms, about the behaviors to look for. They're going to tell somebody. They're going to refer this child. They're going to make sure that this child does not fall out of the safety net. Teachers, so you know, take an online course. We want to look at their online course and see whether or not it's effective enough. And if it's not, we'll bring the teenagers in. A lot of times we as adults look at situations and say, what can we do to help our kids? And how are we going to do this? And let's do this for them. If the kids are not involved in this, it's going to fail. It needs to be something that they buy into, that they're comfortable with, that's their ideas, so that we can be a part of the solution. The next thing we're going to do is, I've spoken to the Department of Health. They are going to uh, create a task force on teenage suicide. And they will come forth with recommendations for the state of New Jersey to tackle this issue. It is an epidemic that is destroying lives. It's destroying childhoods. The good news in all of this is the number three leading cause of death in New Jersey, we can solve. That is such a positive thing for us to be focusing on. I will put a bill in, in the legislature for a pot of roughly about a million dollars. And with that million dollars at the Department of Education, school districts can compete for that money to hire mental health counselors in the school system. So that counselor can go to a middle school one day, the high school the other day, a grammar school the next, so forth and so on. There's not just one thing that is going to be the singular answer to ending suicides. As Governor Cody had said, that we're already talking about a systemic approach, an approach that basically looks at the entire system and how we can get all the parts doing their job, because that's what we really need for this program to really succeed.